because ours is a fight for the future. And, and it is a fight for freedom. And it is a fight for freedom. Now, I don't have to tell the folks of New Hampshire, the live free or die state, You know the importance of individual freedoms, fundamental freedoms. You know how hard people fought for these freedoms and that they are foundational to who we are and what we stand for as America, including the fundamental freedom of a woman to make decisions about her own body and not have her government telling her what to do. And understand how we got here. Understand how we got here, and of course, we're not going to fall for the gaslighting he's pushing, right? When he was president, Donald Trump handpicked three members of the United States Supreme Court with the intention that they would undo the protections of Roe v. Wade. And as he intended, they did. And now, in more than 20 states in our nation, there is a Trump abortion ban. Many, with no exceptions even for rape and incest, which is immoral, immoral. And let us agree, and I know we do, one does not have to abandon their faith or deeply held beliefs to agree the government should not be telling her what to do with her body. sure Donald Trump will go further and he will sign a national abortion ban and 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 you know project 2025 which I just I mean can you believe they put that thing in writing and under project 2025 he would create a national anti-abortion coordinator which would force states I mean this is unbelievable right which would force states to report on women's miscarriages and abortions. You know what they are making really quite clear? They just don't trust women. They just don't trust women. But we trust women. We trust women. And when Congress passes a bill to restore reproductive freedom as President of the United States, I will proudly sign it into law. Across our nation, across our nation, across our nation, and I've been traveling for many, many, well, years actually, and certainly months most recently. Across our nation, I'm telling you, we are witnessing a full-on attack on hard-fought, hard-won fundamental freedoms and rights, including the freedom to vote, the freedom to be safe from gun violence, the freedom to breathe clean air and drink clean water, the freedom to love who you love openly and with pride.